Nearly 500 planes take off and land here every day, and 40% are international flights. These are the higher risk routes that keep the airport's anti-narcotics unit busy. In 2015, there were 318 drug busts here, and only one was connected to a domestic flight. Nevertheless, anti-narcotics officers stay ready for anything. The alert comes from level three, the X-ray inspection area for check bags. A suitcase's structure doesn't look right. The bag was bound for Pura, a city in Peru's northwest. It's very rare for a domestic flight to be used to transport drugs. A drug trafficker runs the same amount of risk on a domestic flight as they would an international flight. So there's not much logic to it. It's the job of the agent in charge to quickly determine if there's a case. The police often have little time to investigate before a flight departs. When I went to the airline to get the passenger's information, I was surprised to find out he was on the plane. That is, he'd already boarded, so I ran. In 15 minutes, the flight was taking off. Boarding was basically closed. It was only waiting to take off. The bag's owner, a Serbian citizen who says he doesn't speak Spanish, but he's able to make it clear that the bag isn't his. He claims it belongs to a friend, that he's only carrying it as a favor. El sistema de rayos X del aeropuerto ha alertado su equipaje y tenemos que nosotros descartar como policía antidrogas que en su equipaje no haya ninguna sustancia ilícita. ¿Sabe la clave o no sabe la clave? ¿Puede preguntarle, por favor? When I first talked to the passenger, he tried to mislead us. He even tried to avoid putting in the code for the suitcase. He thought that by not giving us the code, that the suitcase wouldn't be opened. So we had to use other techniques, using some of our tools to open the suitcase.